I have more than 2,000 alcohol markers and today I've set myself a challenge. One marker from each set. Can I create a piece of art without any choice? Or will I fail? Probably. My name is ADC Art Attack, his name is Bob, and this is the One Marker Art Challenge. So, today's video has been sponsored by Ohuhu, and they've sent me... What don't they send me? This is a lot of markers, and today's challenge of taking just one marker from each one of these collections, I haven't thought this through. Ha! Huh. What if I got the same colour from every collect- This could be- No, no, it's not gonna happen. It could happen. Hmm. We're gonna choose the colours now because... I, I just ha I have a feeling this is gonna go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> there's- There's nothing controlled about any of this. I don't know- Oh gosh, Bright! There's gotta be- That's the colour- that was my first color? It's it's white. I there's there's no there's no color that I What a great start. No, no 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 no. We're like a minute into the video and this just isn't gonna work. I got basically white, basically white's cousin, white! <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a colorless blender? There's just no control here. Oh! <laughs> this is not an amazing range of colours. However, while it did start out bad, we do have a little bit of variety here, which I hope will allow us to create something. Wait! I also get to use a refill. Oh yeah. Oh, who have refills now? Okay, so I want to colour something. Obviously. Hmm. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to be coloured. I really don't know what I'm going to colour, so we're just going to colouring this. Looney Tunes? Well, all right then. Can't, can't say it would have been my first choice. Okay. So, this is a trip down memory lane. I haven't seen some of these characters since my childhood, and I'm feeling pretty nostalgic. But I don't see how these colours are going to be useful. And I am definitely about to regret this move, but I don't care. Swish and flick! Oh sh- How did it- How did I- How did I miss the background completely? Uh, I definitely should have done that last. So I have to wonder, are the purists of the One Marker Challenge mad at me right now? Like, I get it, this is not exactly a One Marker Challenge, but at the same time, most who attempt to do this challenge do not own every single collection of the Ohuhu markers. Yeah, I'm ready to admit I have a problem. But I was inspired to do this as in my opinion there is a severe lack of pure art content lately. I feel like we dive into trending topics and themes so often that it would be nice to have a bit of a slowdown. So today's video is different to my usual content. And if you would like to see more relaxed art from me in the future going forward, then please do let me know. Although be warned, it's very unlikely the art today is going to look good. I'm just saying. Now, this colouring is not controlled at all. I dare say, I think using one colour or one marker probably would have been easier. But I have been fortunate to have the colours I need to start with. As for how long this safe space is going to last, I don't know. Boom! Huh. Yeah, the paper isn't... the paper doesn't like this. But this challenge is actually really fun. I've gone into this knowing that it's not going to go well. So the pressures we usually feel when creating are completely gone. I'd be lying if I didn't admit that I do have a little bit of a plan going forward, but I'm not trying to create anything special. And I think just relaxing and scribbling down some colours in a very purist and natural way without putting in too much effort it might be good. Except for this flipper. I don't like this flipper. There is nothing relaxing about working around all of this ink and I definitely- I really- why didn't I just- I, I should have done the flick last. Why do I make my life difficult? Speaking of ink! So today's video is sponsored by Ohuhu and more specifically their brand new marker refills which I did use incorrectly. To use them correctly you have two methods. The first method is to gently remove one of the nibs of the marker, then attach the marker refill to that end. 
Then give it just a little bit of a squeeze to chop up the pen. The fly, get it, get the fly. Get it. We are being attacked by a fly. The other method, however, is just a little bit easier in my opinion. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And that's it. Couple of drips and you are good to go. The refills come in a range of colors plus a colorless blender, allowing you to refill the markers multiple times depending on the type of marker you are using. So if you would like to get your hands on these marker refills, there will be a link for you down below in the description of this video. And if we're being honest here, not only are these a great way of replacing your markers, but they also offer you a money saving way of topping up and refreshing your, we'll just call them older nibs. Who would have thought a marker refill that's actually worth it. Okay, story time. I had this thing recently where I burned a piece of artwork that I had spent three days on while streaming to make a point surrounding the mindset you should have as an artist. And that point is, art doesn't have to be about the results. So many people get caught up in the final piece, the idea that they must achieve, the goal they must reach when creating a piece of artwork. And this applies so much unnecessary pressure to you while you're working. The process of creating art should be an enjoyable journey. It should be something that helps calm and relax you. Something you do to take yourself out of the reality of the world around you. I've recently removed the final goal in mind from every single piece of artwork that I create. Because having that end goal forced me into a position of stress. And every time that I created something for you, whether it was on a stream, in a YouTube video, or even personally, I felt immense pressure to make sure that I was satisfying the viewers and myself with an exceptional final piece of artwork. This doesn't mean that the final piece is meaningless, however. It just means that you shouldn't allow it to have control over your mind while you are working. When I learned this, I realized that it was the motion of doing artwork that I actually enjoyed, not the goal of improvement. And by having this mindset, my natural art abilities actually have improved. But even more than that, I have finally begun to enjoy art once again. But the downside to uh, I made this, this is not good. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little bit too relaxed. This that I'm attempt, this is not going to work. It worked, huh? Okay, so yeah, this is a thing that you can do with the Ohuhu marker refills. You can put the ink onto a brush and use the brush as a marker without having the marker. I. I don't know when that will ever be useful, but you can do it. And yes, I am using a white pen. No, I did not choose a white pen. This is cheating, but I don't care. Have you seen the art? I'm so gonna get told off in the comments for this. Okay, so here we are everyone, the results of my one marker kind of challenge. Heh, I mean it's, it's something. So if we take a look back to the way the project started, we had the Wily e. Coyote underwater. And by the end of it, we have the, the Wily e. Coyote underwater with a rock. It's not, this isn't this isn't my most creative piece, yeah, I know. I'm gonna be honest with you right now, I actually don't care. This was just something I wanted to do. Something for me that I could enjoy. I got to use my favorite brand of marker, the Ohuhu markers. I got to enjoy them and their new product. And honestly, it was a lovely experience to just do something, to do some artwork without the pressure of trying to impress, of trying to make something fantastic. But if you do want something nice to look at, there you go. It's a really nice picture. Isn't it? It was destroyed. <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. Destroying my art. Not the first time, not the last time, but it was a good time. Kiba just walking around me. Oh, I got you so heavy. Huh. This is the content that they come for. Keep his head. Well, I do hope you had yourself a wonderful time here today in this video. And if you would like to see more of my content, perhaps you want to see my previous video, which was a trip down memory lane. Then he's going to keep breathing into the mic until you click on it. Go. Oh yeah. This is the content you come for. Oh, right, my mouth. Ah. <laughs> oh.